Okay, it's uh, Easter weekend, uh, Good Friday actually, and uh, what we're going to do today is um, machine some of these uh, knee brace um, pockets. So this uh, knee brace has uh, the tenon joint on it, and uh, this is going to go into this beam, plug into here to, uh, to be supported above the, uh, one of the posts, the uh, king posts. So we're going to uh, mortise some. Um, this hole here with our uh, mortising tool. So what I did first is I made a small little uh, corner jig just to get the right distance and everything for us. So this just clamps in here. What this is doing a couple things, it's, uh, there's a stopper here. So this is the tip of my uh, knee, knee brace. And I'm just a small little gauge here, kind of show you how it's going to fit in. So I'll just check to make sure this is square. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. And then uh, this distance is uh, 30 inches, 30 inches away, so here again to help with uh, some of the uh, the accuracies of everything. What I did is I made a couple, uh, just a couple of simple gauges. So this is just 30 inches long. So every single one, you know, you don't have to rely on reading a tape measure every single time. Just pick up that dimension. And then this uh, this little gauge here is coming right up next to it here. And next, we're just going to uh, lay out a couple lines. Put a square across here. And again, just a simple little uh, gauge um, to center up the, the tenon. Because every board is a little bit different width. This is also just as long as the uh, the tenon is as well. So just double check our measurements. We're at uh, 30. My tenon is about uh, 10 and 10 and a half long. We just have our nice, uh, nice spot there. So we have a square laid out. This is the 30 inch dimension. This is where it's gonna be cut up to. Check, check, and double check. <laughs> so what's gonna happen is this is gonna be plugged right into here. And that should line up with the end yeah, there. Okay, let me just bring up our morosine tool. This has been working really well. Got a nice uh, zero position on here. Just clamps on. It's a little bit hard to see, but I put a couple of gauges on here so we can uh, see where I'm, where I'm positioning on every single one. So because the logs are a little bit different in thickness, the centering becomes uh, a little bit different on each one. So what I do is just take a small little uh, test cut here. I like line it up with my uh, marks.
just checking to see that it's uh, centered up to my uh, scribe lines. So the cool part is about this mortiser is that this uh, threaded um, shaft on here is in four millimeter increments, so it's four millimeter per revolution. So you can get within a quarter of a turn pretty easy. So that's within forty thousandths. You know, it's pretty uh, pretty accurate. So I'm just going to go to a little bit of a angle here. Our first cut's a plunge cut down to a stop about. Um, four inches deep or so. So I just have a little stopper here. same gauge that I was using for the center and I put uh, some marks on here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to uh, cut out cut out kind of the path, you know, so you can kind of see the bottom. The first cut is the deepest because we need that square corner. And then the next cuts are about an inch shorter. And we cut across the bottom and then we're just going to increment up and over, up and over, up and over to uh, cut this 45 where the knee brace comes in. So uh, sounds complicated, but I just made this small little uh, map up and um, they kind of follow it in this little guide here to, to mark it. So this end here is just the zero sign. I'll just take some marks. There are two sets of marks. The the primary one I'm going to cut first, and then the secondary ones will come back and cut in between. So we're kind of just cutting at the bottom. Really low. Yeah. So in other words, my uh, my cutter is like two inches wide, so we can increment over, you know, two inch increments. So I just slide over to the to the first mark, lock it in. I made a little uh, stopper because this one here is a little bit shallower. Like eight turns to make two inches, so just going two or four turns at a time.
Let's move over to my next mark here. Same, uh, same death. First couple or two. Deaths. Pretty, uh, pretty nice job actually, it, it cuts pretty nice, pretty smooth. We'll just take a final measurement of this length. So I'm at like 10 and, 10 and 3 eighths. So about 10 and 3 eighths there. I did make a little, uh, another little gauge here just to uh, so you can kind of see where the pocket is before you attempt to put your part in there. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, it's pretty close. Alright. There it goes. Nope, just got to loosen this up. Put that back on in a second. And that's how it goes. Okay, just barely hitting on the sound here. Yeah, so we'll just clear that off this little Just a very small bit here in the end.
Okay. There we go. All day today. That's outfits so in there. Up. I have to keep telling myself, today is Friday. It's a lot of phone calls for me saying the same thing. Uh, maybe uh, you're thinking, you know, you want to get out there and do something today. Some things are open, some things are closed. But I can tell you there's some new movies out to check out. Uh, the face so when this is all square, otherwise known as the this is up to there. It's believe it or not. Monty is new good. and hot. Maybe something to take the kids to. Another 10 in a row on the way. Boom 97.3, part of the Radio Player Canada app. Yeah, it's where Canadian radio plays. Download it now for free. It sings. Nice. It dances. It soars. So these are going to be the beams. Uh, they look the same. They're going to be the ridge beam and then the two uh, Eve beams. Uh, the rafters are going to sit on.